Hello, tudo bem? Tudo bom? So today, guys, in the video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience in Brazil. I know I didn't do capoeira, I didn't do samba, I didn't go to carnival, and I didn't play football. <laughs> So today, guys, as you have seen, I'm gonna be talking about my experience in Brazil. I went to Brazil for 20 days, and to be honest, it's not that I didn't have a good image about Brazil, it's just that I had no idea of how it was going to be. Like, I thought that somebody would steal my phone, that somebody would steal my documents, my money, I wouldn't like food and everything. So. I was like that, I had no idea of how it was going to be. But to be honest, I have a pretty good image about Brazil food. For me, it was super good. It was weird that they put rice and beans to everything. Because like normally here you have a big plate of something and you don't have a big plate of many things. You know, like you only have one thing. In that sense, that was a, a bit weird because they eat a lot. I'm not saying that everybody there, there is a lot, but like the family of my boyfriend is a lot and we have to talk about something serious because this this that you see that you see here is perfect and sadly i only have this so if you want you can sell me i'm gonna tell you my address because i don't remember my address it's p sherman 42 what i buy way sydney so if you want you can sell me Uh, about going out, I think that most people there are scared. I'm not saying that it's not dangerous, but they are more scared than danger that they have there. Like, I always had my phone hiding, and something that is super weird about there is that nobody's using the phone in the streets. Here, when you go to a bar, when you go out, you see everybody here, like this, with the phone, super obsessed, and don't pay attention to what's going on outside. And that is something weird because I didn't see anybody with the phone. Um, like about going out with my boyfriend, like you know, we are a same-sex couple, so I didn't know how people would react. But in any moment, I saw that anybody was looking just in the airport. Like you have the link here in the description of the video in which we meet. There were many people looking. I don't know why. But then when we, when we went out, nobody was looking, and to be honest, I didn't pay so much attention. But we didn't have anything weird like yo, fangos, yo, I'm gonna kill you. Yo, I'm gonna die. So when I entered, the first impression about Brazil was super good because I had to go to the passport control. And you know, normally people there are rude, they are not super nice with you. But the police there in Brazil was super nice. I was a bit lost and I was a bit nervous and I was a bit scared, but they were super nice. About restaurants, something that is super weird there is that like you can pick all the food that you want, you put it in a plate, and then you put the plate. They tell you the weight and depending on the weight, you pay for that. And here it's, it's not like that. You go and you say, I want this and this and this. So they go with the plate and they give you one. Each plate has a, a, a different price. And talking about prices, for me, I mean, for me, everything was, there was super, super cheap because I spent like 50 euros. I understand that for people there in Brazil, things are so expensive because like compared to how much they get per month, things were super expensive, phones super expensive, um, TV super expensive, McDonald's super fucking expensive, um, the streets, I remember that I checked how the streets were there on, on Google Maps and it was like oh my gosh where am I going? But they are beautiful in the sense that for me they are different because I have never seen any street like that so for me it was super different and I liked it and something that I liked is that they have cool TV advertisements yeah I want those advertisements here Um, I don't have anything to say, I just have to say that I have a, a great experience. I think that people talk shit about Brazil because in the end that's what gets people's attention. I'm sure that there were parts where everything was horrible and there were parts where everything was wonderful. So guys, this was the video of today. I hope that you like, if you like, give us a like, subscribe here or here or here or here, I don't know where. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!